Lord, we just thank you for waking us up this morning. We give you okay. gratitude. Lord, we thank you for blessing everyone that was able to get on the calls and those that aren't. Lord, we thank you for this great nation that you have given us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for our conferences coming up. We thank you for the sick and the shed-in. Lord, we just thank you for the great UAW and all of its leadership. Lord, we ask that you be with us through this meeting, Lord, through the end of our days, Lord. And Lord, we will give you the honor and the glory forever. Lord, we thank you for Ephesians 3 and 20, that it is exceedingly abundantly above more than we can act, think, or imagine according to the works in us. We are called according to your power. Lord, we give you glory and honor, and we thank you for your son that died on that cross and rose on that third day. And we thank you for this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, okay, okay. Article 41. Do I have a volunteer to read Article 41? I can do it, Sharon Burnett. Article 41, Section 2, To God Be the Glory. It shall be the duty of each of chaplain member to render aid and assistance to siblings, members in case of illness, death, or distress, and in every way acquit her himself as a loyal and devoted member of the International Union. To God be the glory. God bless you. Awesome. Thank you, Sister Sharon. Um, Bill Edie, are you with us this morning? Brother Bill. Okay, we'll turn it over to Jerry Carson. Good morning, Jerry. Morning, Elder. Thank you. Hello, chaplains. I'm going to bring you greetings from President Sean Fain and Vice President Director Chuck Browning and the entire International Executive Board. We want to thank you, chaplains, for all you do in your place of work, in our union, in the community, and with and for your families, being the salt and the light, meeting people where they are and loving on them sharing the good news, giving them hope. We can never thank you and your families for allowing you to serve and it, it'll be a glorious day. Whenever every knee bows and every tongue confesses, then he will reveal to us the, the, good, the good works that he did through us while we were here passing through. This isn't home. Okay, I'm going to give a, a quick uh, update for our, our, our 36th annual Chapsey Conference. We have a total currently of 160 that will be in attendance. And today is uh, Wednesday, May the 10th. We have until May 19th to get registered. So we're well on our way and uh, it's like four weeks from now, we will be together at Black Lake. That's the report. If any regional coordinators want additional details, you can call me and I can give you some, you know, more details on your specific region if you have any questions. Um, and Brother Ken, yours is still 13 at this point in time. That might save you a phone call. Um, and my scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. It's love never fails. And, you know, I was telling Elder uh, this weekend, I was uh, a little bit venting to my wife about people not coming right. And, you know, and whenever I say not coming right, you're not coming with God putting God first. You have your own motive sometimes. And she says, but Jerry, that 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 first Corinthians 13, 8, how does that scripture start? And I, and I told her it says that, that we're to be patient and kind and love. She says, patient. You need to be patient. She beat me up with that. <laughs> so even if someone is coming and come not coming right, I gotta be <laughs> I gotta be patient. But, you know, like I used to tell them in the plant, whenever I was representing them before, before a hearing, and if they didn't come and tell me, uh, they give me bits and pieces, I'd say, well, if you think I'm going to believe that story, why would you even want me representing you? I would let them know. I, they just, so uh, love you chaplains, and thank you for your uh, patience and kindness and, and all the good work you're doing. Now I'm going to turn it back over to Elder. Love you, chaplains. Hey, brother Jerry, have 
if it's uh, local 952, have they registered me? They said they were. I just wanted to be sure that's taken care of. I'm going to call you in a little while, and I'll double check. Uh, I know that that should be taken care of, but I will check for you. Uh, have you uh, booked your flight? Uh, the flight, they said they were taking care of all that, so that's why. Yeah, I'm okay. Checking, I'll, I'm going to, I'll call you in a little while. And, and uh, Brother Paul, just let you know, you're always on our hearts and in our prayers. And, you know, yeah, but, but God's, Jesus told us, faith without works is dead. I see that. And, and you are, you're on our hearts and, and in our prayers. But, and we are doing the work and we are thinking about you too and each one of the chaplains you are so precious 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 that the one that created the heavens and earth wants a personal intimate relationship with each one of us love you paul i'll call you in a little bit and i'm turning it back over to elder but just everyone we just need to just continue to be in uh iron sharp and iron every one of us are going through something you can't tell by looking at us because we turn it over to God. God is the one. Love you, chaplains. Turn it over to you, Elder. I'm going to be quiet and be still. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Brother Marshall Watkins. Can you hear me, Marshall? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Go it on. All right. And Dan Candlebinder is with us, too. I'm with Cynthia here. Go down, Brother Marsh. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, as it applies, this is Scripture Showers. And just in case there's someone who doesn't know what Scripture Shower is, yes, it is much different from a baby shower. But anyway, the ba even the baby needs a Scripture Shower, okay? So, but nevertheless, uh, the God gave the vision to the elder, and he has the baby there right there to just get ready to get showered with him and so nevertheless he shared with us from ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 which says and i will make them and the places around about them and my hill a blessing and i will cause the shower to come down in this season and there shall be showers of blessing now, to add to that scripture, my scripture will be Joel 2.23, which says, Be glad, then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he have given you the former rain, which is the early rain, moderately, and he will cause it to come down for you, uh, you the rain, and that the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. So think of this scripture shower. We know it takes seed time and harvest to produce a crop. And so God said he's going to supernaturally do it all in one month. So we're going to get these showers and blessings. So have your faith, believe in that whatever scripture hits you in your spirit, that is going to take place this month. OK, and you'll be the one running around Black Lake when we get up there and say that scripture hit me. So now we will go region by region. Oh, when you hear your Brother region Marge. called out, please identify yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Brother Marshall, let's. Uh... Here from uh, Dan Kinderbinder. Um, I know he has a busy schedule. So, Dan and Cynthia, let, let's allow the uh, rep to so go forward at this time. Go on, Dan. Go ahead, Brother Dan. Hey, thank you. Good morning, all. Uh, love you, chaplains like Jerry and Herb. And uh, it's always good to see all the chaplains out there. Miss Cynthia Harris, love to see you as well. So this morning, uh, I just wanted to, since it's a uh, scripture showering, and thank you, Brother Marshall Watkins, for that. So I have one from, uh, it's Colossians uh, chapter 3, verse 13, right? It says, bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgives you. Um, and this stuck out this morning because of the grievance, you know, and in, the, in, in a lot of our workplaces, we have in our CBAs the grievance process, right? But... It's uh, when I was reading this and thinking about it just briefly, though, is we carry a lot like a bag of rocks, uh, these grievances. Right. But if we forgive and just like Jesus did on the cross, you know, when he was hanging there with the other two folks 
and the one was a little testy and the other one says hey please forgive me uh and you know god looks over at him and and he could have said anything but he said you know today this day you will be in paradise with me and so he forgave that criminal of his sins right then and there and i i think if we do that on a daily basis and like brother jerry said earlier you know and have that patience right and i love it because his wife did hit him a few times but that's all right mine did too but if we have that patience that forgiveness so Boy, that relieves so much anxiety and stress off of us. And then we can concentrate on what's most important, right? And that's loving our brothers and sisters in the UAW and without throughout the world, you know, because every one of us are related through Christ, right? Every one of us. And so I just thought that was a, that scripture passage today just kind of hit me and, and I wanted to share that. So I appreciate the time uh, for that allotment and uh, God bless every single one of you. Hey, before Cynthia go, Marshall, um, we got a hand raised. I want to recognize that hand. We have someone raising their hand. Is there something you'd like to say? No, Elder Taylor, I was just raising my hand in agreement with the scriptures being read. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, that won't be necessary during this scripture shower. Uh, we don't have the technique to identify it. So um, we appreciate it. And I'm going to turn it back over to Cynthia. And Marshall, you got it out to Cynthia. Thank you for the hand and explaining uh, your reason why it was up. Um, by the way, Eric is a first time caller from local 249. This local is getting ready to do certification in a couple of months, couple of weeks. So we welcome you, Eric. Um, turn it over to Marsha, who would identify Cynthia. All right, Sister Cynthia, will you please shower us with the scripture that you have for us today? Okay, thank you so much. Good morning to everyone. Uh, confirmation with uh, brother jerry talking about patience i feel like uh paul nichols when he does that yeah -wee! but uh, <laughs> uh my scripture shower for today is coming out of romans 12 and 12 and it says rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant in prayer god bless you all Okay. Hey, Marsha. Hey, Marsha, let me yes, do sir. one other thing. Let me let me do this, brother Eric. Uh, you have come onto the screen, and you got a picture up that is dominating the screen. So we really don't need that. To, there you go. We appreciate it. I know you're a first time caller, and we have to uh, make sure all of our callers are aware of what's going on. So we love you, Eric. We're going to be getting with you. Uh, your uh, chairperson, Daryl Stewart, will get with you. And I'm looking forward to meeting you when your certification is at your local. I'll be there, get a chance to meet myself. Uh, Mar Marshall, before we start, Bill Edie is on the line. So let's identify Bill, and then yeah. we'll turn it back to you for sure, Brother Marshall. Thank you. That's all right. Brother Bill. Brother Michael, I'd, I'd like to apologize for uh, <laughs> interrupting you as we get ready to do our uh, scripture roll call. Uh, chaplains, I want to bring you greetings from President uh, Sean Thane, Vice President and Director Chuck Browning, and the entire International Executive Board. Once again, it is an honor and a pleasure to be on this scripture shower call today my scripture is going to come from psalms 23 the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want that is a scripture that just has been in my spirit and uh it is just uh, so prevalent to me uh, I, I want to thank you chaplains for everything that you do for your your, your obedience to be on the chaplaincy conference calls I want to thank you for your obedience, taking care of the membership at your prospective uh, locations. I want to thank you for, for taking care of your community, for your places of worship. But most importantly, I want to thank you for what you do for your families. 
And I want to thank your families for allowing you to be the great chaplain that you are. And I also, you know, uh, Jerry was, uh, you know, brought up a good thing. It's just, it just so impressive to where, you know, your wife is in the scripture and she can she can just, you know, balance you out every once in a while. That's why the Lord gave us the helpmates. And it is a beautiful thing. And I just want to say, uh, want to say God bless you to all the mothers in the upcoming Mother's Day. Uh, you are a blessing. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for mothers. And I just want to say God bless all of you. I thank God for you. And I'll turn it over to you now officially. Brother Marshall, take care. God bless everybody. No problem, Brother Bill. Uh, Brother Bill, you didn't have to apologize. You also heard of scattered showers. Those were scattered showers, okay? All right. So we will give you again our region, region, starting with region one, moving all the way to region 9A. And if you don't know your region, we'll be glad to help you. So, but when you hear your region called out, please say your name first and last, as well as your local and where do you work and who you work for under that local. But nevertheless, as well as if you're active or a retiree. And again, if you need helps and assistance, and if by chance you can't get off a of mute, we will come back around, give you an opportunity to join in on the scripture showers because we need all the shower we need. This is May. We need those May flowers for Mother's Day, okay? Region 1, Scripture Shower. Ayanna Bailey, Local 375, active. Uh, I have James 1, 22 to 25, but, ye, but be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever look into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein, but he being not a forgetful hero, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deeds. Amen. Region. One. Uh, Jesse Moore, local 1700, um, Sterling Heights, Michigan, active, Colossians 4 and 6. Let your speech be with grace, things and with song, how you can communicate with everyone. Amen. Thank you, Sister Jess. Anyone else from Region 1? Hi, my name is Iwan Gitas, uh, Local 212. I'd like to read a very short verse, Ecclesiastics 3.14. Whatever God does, he, it shall be forever. Amen. Hey, brother Iwan, can you read that in Romanian as well? Uh, face, face pentru una. Amen. Amen. That was Ecclesiastes 3.14, wasn't it? I recognize it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very well. Anyone else? Region one. Region one A. Region one A. Scripture showers. Eileen Walker, local six hundred. You hear me? Ford Motor Company retiree. This right here comes from the Gospel of John. 13th chapter, 31st, 34th and 35 says, A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. And by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Hello, brother. Hello everyone, brother Linnell Chapman Sr., local 600 active. I'm reading the scripture from Ephesians 5 from the New International Version. Follow God's example. Therefore, as dearly loved children and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us 
and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering, a sacrifice to God. But you among you, but excuse me, but among you, there must not be even a hint of sexual sexual immorality or any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or cursed joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure. No immoral, impure, or greedy person, such a person is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Amen. 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 Michelle, Shirley Davenport. Shirley Davenport, Local 163, Daimler, Active. My scripture is Isaiah 58 and 1. It says, Cry aloud, fear not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob. Their sin. Isaiah 58 and 1. Hallelujah. Michelle Hill, Michelle Hill, Local 600, Ford Motor Company, active. And my scriptures from Psalms 100, verse 4 and 5. It says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Amen. Douglas Willard, local 898, Ford Motor Company. I also have Psalms 100. I have one and two. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Psalms 100, one and two. Connie Bobbitt, Local 163, Daimler, retiree. This morning going with uh, 1 John 4 and 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Uh. Lori Spencer, Local 600, Ford Motor Company, active. <clears throat> My sister, I know, I Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, and all has become new. Tina Chapman, Local 600, Ford Motor Company, active. My scripture shower comes from Isaiah 43, verses, uh, I can't see, 1 through 4. Do not fear, for I am redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, Savior, I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your seed. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will set the north, say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Amen. Lisa Duke, Local 245, Ford Motor Company, active. Uh, my scripture, hold on, my phone, don't want to act right, y'all. Sorry. Okay. All right, y'all, thanks for your patience. Um, so my scripture is coming out of Ephesians 4 and 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. That was Ephesians 4 and 32. Will there be anyone else from Region 1A? 
Region 1D, Scripture Shower, Region 1D. Sharon Burnett, Local 651, GM, retired, and my scripture. From Psalms 5, 11, 12, let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them shout for joy because you defend them. Let those who also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteousness. With favor, you will surround him as a shield. And again, Psalm 5, 11, 12. May the blessing to the reading of his word. God bless. Eugene Merchant, you, Local 602, GM Active, reading 1 Timothy 1, 11 and 12. According to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which has committed my trust, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who has enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. First Corinthians, excuse me, First Tim Timothy 1, 11 and 12. Will there be anyone else from Region 1D? Yes, this is Ken Kenyon. Go ahead, Brother Ken. Yeah, my is from uh, Isaiah 4, 6. I will keep you and will make you be a covenant of the people and the light for the Gentiles. Um, Region 1D coordinator, uh, Local 1002, Bradford White, builders of the best hot water heaters in the world. Amen. You ought to get a royalty check, brother. Nevertheless, but don't forget to give it the union dues out of that royalty check, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyone else out of Region 1D? All right, Region 2B, Region 2B, Scripture Shower. David Watson, Local 440, GM Active. My scripture is Psalm 18, verse 6. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. He cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even unto his ears. Christy Vargas. Patricia. Toledo Jeep. Whoop, go ahead. Christy Patricia Vargas. Andrews. Jeep. Active in my scripture today is Colossians 3, 13. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Thank you. Patricia Andrews, local 1219. I am active. I am the chairperson. Um, I am active. Uh, my scripture is coming from... Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, the King, James version, the King James Version, says, Trust in the Lord with all the heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doer of his holy word. Amen. Doris Roberts, Local 12, St. Vincent Mercy Medical Center, Proverbs Thirty-one twenty-six. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. That's Proverbs thirty-one twenty-six. Thank you. Will Cook, Local Twelve, Cuca Toledo Production, active. My scripture today is from First Peter five, eight through nine. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. That's 1 Peter 5, 8 through 9. Amen. And, <clears throat> Rennell Glenn, active, Ford, international. Um, coming out of for Second Peter 5. For this very reason, you must make every effort to support your faith with goodness and goodness with knowledge 
and knowledge with self-control and self-control with endurance and endurance with godliness and godliness with mutual affection and mutual affection with love. For if these things are yours and are increasing among you, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Would be anyone else for Region 2B? Region 4, Scripture Shower, Region 4. Kim Collier, Local 1178, Mopar, Chicago, PDC. And I'm reading Psalms 34, 1 through 3. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Thank you. This is Donna Jones. This is Donna Jones, Local 31, Fairfax, GM. I'm coming from Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, the 12th verse. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures, the heaven to give the rain unto the land in his season, and to bless all the works of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do them. May the Lord add a blessing in the hearing and, and as well as the doers to his most mighty word. God bless you all. Randall Willis, Tom. Local 588, Ford Motor Company, Actor, um, Region 4 Coordinator. I'm reading James 2 and 13. For he shall have judgment without mercy that has shrewd no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. James 2 and 13. Tom Adams, Local 838, Waterloo, Iowa, John Deere, Region 4, best region out there. I'm going to read Hebrews 3, 4. And every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. For every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. So to me, this is our house. We're the builders. God put us here to build it. Florence Higgins, local, Florence Higgins, local 31, uh, retired by active. I'm coming from Leviticus 19, verse 18. You shall not take revenge nor bear any grudge against the children of your people, but you shall love your neighbors as yourself. I am the Lord. Amen. Amen. Brother Marshall. Uh, Go right ahead. Yeah, let me send a shout out to uh, the young lady that just spoke, Sister Florence. Uh, she's a retiree from local 31 and she's the chaplain from that retiree chapter and there's a difference in um a, a local retiree chaplain or uh, ch charter she uh has never been to uh the black lake conference i don't believe but she is faithful on every tuesday at the retiree meeting and we can't expect her to be at active meeting and disqualify her as a chaplain because of that so i wanted to say thank you florence for getting on the call we recognize the fact that uh your president your chairman sister donna burks do a lot for this union and by her helping you to replace what I call the GOAT of chaplaincy, <laughs> Sister Mary Green, is an honor not only to us, but to this UAW. So I want to recognize that name, Florence, um, and I'll see you next Tuesday at the retiree meeting. Thank you for the space, Brother Amen. And I want to thank you also because I, I, 
I've been running from this job. I've been running from the Lord, and he knows that. And for me to get bolted in, and thing is, it was a blessing. And I enjoyed the Lord, and I enjoy you all. And I'm glad I'm able to get on this time, because I've been trying in the name of Jesus. Thank you all. Bye-bye. We love you. Amen. Region 4, Scripture Showers. Good morning. This is Angela King, local 2250 GM active. Trust in the Lord and do good so you will live in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. God bless. Amen. This is Henrietta England. Uh, local 551 Chicago Assembly Plant Active. And my scripture okay. this morning mm -hmm. is Proverbs, the 24th uh, chapter, and the third verse from the Messenger version of the Bible. And it reads It takes wisdom to build a house. Hallelujah. It takes wisdom to build a house and understanding to set it on a firm foundation. It takes knowledge to furnish its rooms with fine furniture and beautiful drapes. May the Lord add a blessing to the reader and hearers and doers of his most holy word. Amen. Okay, let's see. After Psalms 51, 7. Purge me with his and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Psalms 51, 7. God bless. David, David Grimaud, local 2096, Pontiac, Illinois, Caterpillar, active retiree. My scripture is Deuteronomy 28, verse 7. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. That's Deuteronomy 28, verse 7. God bless everyone. Brother Dan Hathaway, come again, Dan Hathaway. All right. Okay. We can't hear you, Harley, brother Dan. Brother, can you hear me now? Brother Dan, we got a bad connection, but we got you. Go ahead, try again. All right, First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 7 and 11. By the grace of God, I laid a foundation as a wise builder, someone who is building on it. And each one of you should build it. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid. Jesus Thank you, Brother Dan, for your efforts. Region 4, Scripture Shower. Greetings, Chaplain. Sister Terry Gillis Wendelin Parker, UAW, retired, 110, active. For the Lord, uh, Proverbs 2, um, 6. For the Lord give wisdom out of his mouth come knowledge and understand. He, he lay up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is buckling to them that walk uprightly. Amen. Greetings, Chaplain. Sister Sherry Gillis Clark, Local 31 Chairperson, General Motors, Fairfax, Kansas. And I am active. I am reading for your hearing. Matthew 7 and 7. Ask and keep on asking, and it will be given to you. Seek and keep on seeking, and you will find. Knock and keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. I have read to you Matthew 7 and 7. Bless the Lord, chaplains, for his living and active word. This Amen. is Daryl Stewart. Local 249, Kansas City, Kansas, Assembly, Ford Assembly Plant. I am the Regional Assistant Coordinator 
And my scripture is going to come from John 14 and 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I appreciate it, the word, and thank you for letting me on today. Thank you. Amen. Will there be one other for Region 4? Well, I want to thank you, Region 4, such a strong and outstanding showing today for about 10 minutes of Scripture Shower right there. Region 6, your turn to shower us. Region 6. We got a proxy for six today. All right. So I guess I what I just heard is that the earth be silent. That's what I just heard for reading <laughs> six right there. We, we want someone to, right. someone to give scripture for region six, please. Yes, yeah. Proverbs 4.23. Above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. That is Proverbs 4.23. Thank you, Sister Sherry. My pleasure, Brother Marshall. I have all a right. scripture for Region 6. Uh, Please. They were, yes. Um, the Lord is the light of my salvation. Whom shall I fear? God bless you. Thank you, brother, for showering us with Psalms 27. Anyone else? Nicodemus, Region 6, are you there, Nicodemus? All oh, right. Moving on to Region 8. Region 8. James C., local 862, Ford Motor Company, active. Our scripture comes to Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give everyone according to his work. God bless you. Thank you, Brother James. Region 8, Sarah Carruthers, retiree, General Motors, active, assistant chaplaincy, chair for Region 8. My scripture is Romans 8 and 28. All things working together for them that love the Lord and are called according to his power. Thank you. Um, William R. James, full motor company, 862, retiree. My uh, scripture is from uh, Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is in the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yes, so uh, Psalms 27. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Brother James. Boy, Lewis Brother Holmes Lewis. III. Morning. Good afternoon. Lewis Holmes III, Local 862, Ford Motor Company, Louisville Assembly Plant, and I'm active. My scripture shower comes from Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 3 out of the Amplified Classic. Arise from the depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you rise to a new life shine be radiant with the glory of the lord for your light has light and the glory of the lord has risen upon you for behold darkness shall cover the earth and dense darkness all peoples but the lord shall rise upon you o jerusalem and his glory shall be seen on you and nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising. Thank you, brother. Well, Paul. Region, yeah, Region 8, 
Uh, my scripture, Paul Nichols, local 1895, Ford, retired. Uh, my scripture is 2 Corinthians 4 and 1. And this is at, from the Amplified. It says, therefore, since we do hold and engage in this ministry and chaplaincy, by the mercy of God, granting us favor, benefits, opportunities, and especially salvation, we do not get discouraged, spiritless, despondent with fear, or become faint with weariness and exhaustion. Praise the Lord. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Brother Paul. <laughs> Someone else from Region 8. Region 9. Region 9, Scripture Showers. Region 9. Okay. Region 9A, Scripture Shower. Region 9A. Region 9A. Was there anyone who didn't have an opportunity to share their scripture? You may do so at this time. Freestyle now. Hey man, good morning. Sheila Stribling, local 6000, state of Michigan, retiree. I want to share Jeremiah 3017. For the Lord will restore your health and will heal your wounds, saith the Lord. For you are an outcast of Zion. Be healed, y'all, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Sister Stribling. Region 1, uh, Franklin Harding, local 1264. Uh, my shower scripture will be Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses four through seven. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let the gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind through Christ Jesus. That's my shower and blessing for us all today. Amen. Is there anyone else that you didn't have an opportunity? This Elder? Eric Groves. Go there, Eric. Eric Groves, local 249, Ford Motor Company, Clay Como. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Ephesians 1 and 3. We're blessed to be a blessing. God bless you, chaplains. Thank you, Brother Eric. Is there anyone else? Elder, that's the showers for the day of the scriptures. Thank you, Brother Marshall. And uh, okay. as we were going forward, um, we are at the conference. I'll uh, get with Jerry. It just came in my spirit. Can 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 y'all see um, a scripture shower at Black Lake with over 200 members? We going for the Guinness Book of Records at Black Lake. We'll set aside time to where uh, everybody in that auditorium, and be, because I know we're going to have a lot of preachers. I got to make sure they understand <laughs> is one scripture. Right. Don't try to read two or three scripture and expound on it. But we're going to make that happen. Jerry Carson, that's what I wanted to say. I got my granddaughter. Like I say, she don't respect none of this. She want her poppy, and I'm okay with that. So I'm turning it into a margin. Facilitate that. Make that happen to where we can have a scripture shower at Black Lake, probably on that Wednesday when we up there anyway, and we're going to be recording 
Paul, live from Black Lake, Sister Michelle Hill, you, do you feel me? Can you feel that energy coming out of that building, out of that auditorium? Uh, we're going to make that happen. I'm turning it over to Jerry Carson, and uh, thank you, everybody, for being on the call. Brother Carson. Thank you, Elder. I hear that little angel, Tay-Tay. Tell, <laughs> tell her we said hi, and we love her. She's a blessing. Yeah, the, the, that's that's going to be outstanding. Us holding that the the during during a Wednesday, we'll be having our WebEx live from Black Lake, and then we'll have our scripture shower, and it's going to be powerful. I think that's outstanding. We're going iron's going to be sharpening iron, and we're going to be speaking God's word into one another and uplifting one another. And those that are not able to be with us at Black Lake will feel like they are with us because we will be together spiritually. Ain't God awesome? That is just what a blessing. What a blessing. And I, yeah, I'm I'm excited. I am so excited that four weeks from now we're going to be together. And I can just. One thing I do know, everyone that's able to be there with us and everyone that's going to come on that WebEx on Wednesday, they are going to feel like they're at Black Lake and it's going to be awesome. Um, I like how the the young Joshua Eric Groves from uh, Local 249 had that Be Kind banner up there. Yeah, that's Jesus said, you will know his disciples by the love they have for one another. And that's what we are to do. And that's that's uh, the most powerful thing we can do, even whenever we uh, are having those come to us and they're just giving us like bits and pieces and we really don't understand the whole situation we know one thing that is for for a thousand percent god has ordered our footsteps and brought them to us for his purpose and that's the way we should be treating them as precious precious and just be patient that's a hundred percent we should be doing that they see the love of christ in us and um, my my prayer too is whenever we get to Black Lake, I'm hoping that with the families, it, this is going to be so powerful because we will be having the spouses will be joining some of the chaplains. Some of them are are, are bringing uh, their parents. Some of them will be bringing their children. I mean, it, it, this is going to be such a powerful conference and that's what the uaw is about we all god brought us together so that we could uplift one another and make a difference in this world in the world so i mean uaw we are so blessed that god brought us here for his purpose and you know with the retirees and the active, there's a million members, but then that means that there's probably 10 or more million that it, that we touch just within our families. That don't even mean the communities. Can, can you imagine the good works that are being done through the, through the chaplains in UAW? So I, I wanted to speak about that and it, Elder with, has Tay Tay and uh, Cash. You, I know is in school. Cash I'm is in you. school. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, no, no, you're good. But in Cash is in school, and I know it, it. It's just so uplifting whenever we do have our WebExes and those that have their grandkids or their children with them. Uh, we know that that Bailey with Connie. I mean. You can have the hardest day and you come home to them children. And they make, I mean, hey, 
it just yeah. lets you know God's told us that the children are a blessing and uh what a blessing what a blessing that we have with our families even with all the different things that we deal with we are so blessed to have our families and those that God has brought into our lives uh elder do you have anything else uh I could go on about the conference, but th this is scripture shower. And this yes, is us. Yeah, I I do have a special announcement. Um, for the first time at our UAW chaplaincy conference, we would have the privilege of having a regional liaison help facilitate a class. Uh, God always provide a ram in the bush. And if you guys only knew what it takes to put on a conference, Jerry and I are constantly trying to make things fit. And today I had the pleasure to talk with my former local 31 president, Daniel Kinderbein. And uh, we had a good conversation. And there's a class at Black Lake that I would be facilitating. And uh, me and Jerry have thrown up out some, some how we're going to make this happen. And uh, uh, today, Jerry, it happened. Brother Dan will help me facilitate the class and see what we want to do, y'all. We know. God is in the church. We know that. Every Sunday when you go, you know you go because you're in the ark of safety, so to speak. But at this conference, you guys need to know who we are. And in the workshop, to have a person like Region 4 Chaplaincy Liaison, Dan, working with us, he would be able. I put him to work, Jerry. I put him to work. I told him, man, I want you to tell the delegates about VCAP because that's a strong piece of the union that makes us strong. He would be able to talk about v VCAP and a lot of other things inside the UAW that we need to know. And I also had a talk with Anthony Washington out of 276. Uh, we want to be able to highlight this conference. And Anthony Jerry shared with me about some things and equipment that he got that when the women are going forward on Women's Day, uh, he can have a camera up there to record the whole event. So we're going to get everything. And I just want to say, hey, we're coming along. I got a young lady that's screaming. So I'm out of here. And we'll talk to y'all later. Jerry, Thank back in your hand. Thank you, Elder. OK, um, one one thing that I know Elder didn't know we were working, like Elder said, we're all to pull the, the conference together and then God sets everything up, his providence. He br He's bringing Brother Dan, and then in, in, in the plan is Brother Dan to ride with Elder and I up to Black Lake. We'll have some good fellowship and talk about the conference, and, and now he's going to be participating in the class. And uh, we can't, one thing that we cannot do enough of is encouraging one another and sharing our gifts with one another that God has blessed us with. And that's what we're going to do during this conference. And one thing that I ask the chaplains that we ask the chaplains, whenever you're there, take time to sit down with someone new, a, another sibling that you have not got to meet in person, please. And then, and then exchange contact information. So whenever we go back out in the fields, you got more resources. And now most, I mean, that is an opportunity to network and find out things that are working with their cha local chaplaincy committees and that you could give you ideas on things to implement. It's God's providence that bringing us together for this conference. Um, 
and we're going to give them our best. Uh, it's about one o'clock, but uh, one thing that we're working on right now too is we're trying to get a hold of uh, enough the, of the uh, new constitution so everyone will, all every delegate will leave with a new uh, UAW constitution also. We're working on that right now. Um, so who is going to sing for us to uh, whatever song God has on your heart, uh, who would like to volunteer and sing? And then, and then we're going to close until Friday. And yeah, th this Sunday is Mother's Day. What a precious time. Uh, who would like to volunteer? And, and, and always raise, always raise. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless Hallelujah. Amen. God bless everybody. Love you, chaplains.